Everything about regionism. Hello everyone, I'm Sora. Today I will introduce about regionism. Firstly, <clears throat> my research question. My research question is why is urban versus rural regionism causing conflict among us people in Japan and to what extent are students and workers from urban centers abusive towards citizens from the countryside? My explanation for the research question is in Japan, lots of companies are identifying where they are from and where they live. Also in school, especially in the countryside, students sometimes bully other students when they are from Tokyo or any other cities that are urban. Now, I'll explain what are the reasons for causing regionism. There are mainly three big factors that cause regionism. The first factor is an, is an accent or a language. The accent, especially their pronunciation and their original words. An example in Japan is that people who are from Tokyo often cannot understand people who are from Okinawa due to their accents and original words. In the past, until about 150 years ago, Okinawa was under a kingdom called Ryukyu, which banished because of the emperor in Japan. In the past, until about 150 years ago, Japan was not Japan, which means that there was no government and the island was filled with filled with more than 50 states and had an original system of the government. Therefore, they have accents by each region because there was no public language. The second factor is culture. The reason is the same as accent. Also, there's one more reason. Where they are located have different cultures. When the prefecture is, for example, when the prefecture is not facing the ocean, they would eat meat more than fish because they cannot get raw fish the last factor is region in japan most people have the same region so it's not a big factor in japan but in the world there are lots of regions within a single country such as singapore now i'll explain how does regionism hurt human Regionism can hurt people in mainly two ways. The first way is direct harm. An example of this is when a person who is from an goes to rural school, they usually get bullied because they have different habits. The second way is indirect harm. An example of this is when a person who is from an urban becomes a politician or leader, they get prioritized urban rather than rural, so rural people get fewer advantages than urban ones. Now, I'll explain when does regionism has started. Regionism originated during World War II and has gradually evolved through the Cold War period and post-Cold War, which is the 1930s to 1950s. These are what, when, and how regionism has occurred. Regionism sometimes can be good, however, in, in my opinion, regionism should be eliminated. These are my MLA citations. Thank you so much for listening and watching.